Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Tuesday, October 25th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Fresh off a solid season that saw him add yet another top 10 finish to his impressive resume, men's physique standout Andre Adams seems to be getting along just fine. Last week, Adams released some new progress photos that show the former Ferrigno Legacy Classic winner looking bigger and fuller than we've seen from him in the past. Even in the uber-competitive men's physique division, the roundness and shape that Adams brings to the table when he's in condition makes him stand out in the crowd. Over the last few seasons, we've really seen Adams come into his own and emerge as someone who could one day be a premier talent in the division. So if he can keep up this pace, I have a funny feeling that those predictions will soon start to come sooner than later. Once the season finally winds down and the discussions begin about who some of the year's real breakout stars were, I don't think there will be anyone in their right mind that won't have Akeem Williams on that list. This year was without a doubt the best in Williams' brief pro career. But after notching a huge win at the Tampa Pro, then holding his own on the Arnold Asia and Olympia stages, it's become apparent to anyone who's been paying attention that Akeem Williams is on the verge of greatness. Earlier in the week, the Brooklyn Beast leaked some new training footage, showing off some impossibly thick muscle as he plugs along through the early stages of his offseason. Williams might be one of the most improved athletes in all of bodybuilding in the last few seasons. And now that he's gotten to know what the taste of victory is like, I'd be willing to bet that he comes back next year even hungrier, looking for more wins. It's been a while since we've heard anything from Chris Tuttle. Last year, the former North American champ had a very solid rookie campaign that included a top five finish at the New York Pro and a very strong showing down at the Phoenix Europa Pro. Earlier this week, some rare footage surfaced of Tuttle hammering out some rows during a recent back training session where he still looks to be refining every last bit of that crazy muscle that turned him into an instant fan favorite last season. From front to back, Tuttle really doesn't have any glaring weaknesses, but sucking down to make the 212 did seem to take its toll on him last season. Now that he's had some time off to decompress and focus on taking care of what's really important, it'll be interesting to see what the next move for the intriguing second year pro might be. It might be a new day, but it's still the same old grind for rookie 212 pro Thomas Lenahan. This year, the former USA champ made his pro debut in spectacular fashion when he came and took top 10 at the New York Pro before moving on to make his presence felt again a few weeks later in Chicago. Over the weekend, Lenahan was spotted in the gym getting down and dirty with another heavy squat session as he continues to plug away one day at a time through his offseason. When he's on the top of his game, Thomas Lenahan is one of the rare athletes who gets in that sort of throwback, razor-sharp conditioning 90s bodybuilding fans used to love. So if he can pack on some more size and round out his physique a bit, he has a chance to seal some shows at some point next season. We're still about a month out from kicking off the party at this year's NPC Nationals. And it looks like heavyweight contender Nate Spear is letting it be known that he's ready for business. So far this year, Spear has been on an absolute tear through the NPC, locking up wins at the NPC Powerhouse and Jay Cutler Classics, not to mention his domination of the heavyweight class at the Junior USA. At the moment, Spear is already sporting better conditioning than he was at this far out from any of his previous shows, which is a scary thought when you consider that this guy still has almost four more full weeks to tighten up. If he can stay on task and just focus on being consistent over the next month, he can certainly be a force to be reckoned with when he steps on stage in Miami, Florida. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.